So in the previous exercise, if you got the chance to do it, we calculated the k-value given the losses. But imagine we cannot do that for every single unit. We will take ages. And the good thing is that we already got many data on the internet or even the supplier may give it to you. So you just need to ask for it. So let's check out what do we have here. Uh, it's very recommended that if you got your supplier, you ask your supplier the value because the actual value depends on the material, the length, the design and everything they do. So it's better if you find out a supplier, ask your supplier the value and instead of finding random K values on the internet or databases or books, you got your, let's say, tailor suit uh, for these fittings right here. So for example, if you are using a, where is it, 120 banded elbow, instead of going and checking out random uh, k-values, or instead of actually doing your, your experiment to calculate the value, ask your supplier and you will get the value. There are many, let's say, common shapes we have in the market. So for example, reduction and expansion of pipes is very common, it's not that very uh, let's say it's very easy to find them. Change in flow direction, which is also elbows we have. We have even return 180, which is this elbow right here. Pipe inlet and outlet is very useful, especially if you, are, you have a tank. There's a friction loss when it goes through this here, and there's a friction loss as well when you deliver to the tank. And more importantly, we have K values for valves. We need K values for valves and for its percentage of openness. Maybe it's open to 50%, it's going to be different, uh, different than that of the 20%. So let me show you many K values from internet, databases, books, and so on. So they show you gate valve. And they show you many gate valves. Half, closed, three quarter, closed, one, or closed. Uh, what else? Ball valve, one third, third, fully open, diaphragm valve, many elbows are right here. T, the T's are obviously this T, T shape. Uh, angle valve, return band, which is this one right here. And you got the values guy here, this is the K. You will take this value, use it in your calculation of friction, let's say HF equals the k that you, we got here, you just need to know the velocity at which the fluid is passing by and you're done. You calculate the friction loss and that's everything. Sorry for the Spanish table but I didn't find it in English. This is from Wikipedia and I got, for example, some valves, some pipe outlet, some, let's say, expansion, some reduction and so on. There are many, many in the internet. You can elbows with respect to pipe size. Of course, if you have pipe size huge, you're going to have other values, some valves, and so on. Same stuff here. Also, inlet and outlet of pipes is very common. It's not the same to have a very, let's say, smooth outlet, for example, here, versus this one that they need to force it right here. They go here and then come here. This is a little better. But the best way will be, of course, make it smooth right here. Less friction loss. Actually, K value is 80, then lowers to 50, and then lowers to 0 0.03. Pipe exit, you can always consider it constant. This alpha value is actually, as I told you before, almost always Y. We got for pipe expansion and reduction, we got the equations. I actually always modeled it as sudden expansion and so then contraction, but if you have these very nice pipes right here and you have this angle, you can do it. And you can actually calculate the actual K value for this type of equations. Elbows, there are many elbows. The common elbow is right here. You might have elbows very square right here. What else? With veins, it's common to have veins in order to help the fluid go better with. Let's say this is like a lane in a highway. They show you the proper way to go, so that's why they lowered friction here. 
return band we have it right here, point two, it's flange. Uh, the T, which goes here and continues here, and many other equation, uh, sorry, many other values for elbows. Now, valves is another thing. It's actually valves. K values are not only just a number, but they normally add a friction factor here. If you recall from past sessions, the friction factor calculated in turbulence depends only on the relative roughness. If you haven't checked out the complete course outline, you can always do it here. Course theory, you got all the seven blocks that are included in this incompressible flow course. For instance, if you want to check out what's in the pump block, which is essentially pump block 5, you can check out pump types, system curve, pump curve, pump selection, and pumping systems. The pipe does not depend on the Reynolds number. And you can see, for example, you've got K value equals 400 times FT. This is, let me show you another one. For example, standard elbows, 3 times FT, 45 degrees will be 16 FT. So you need to always go and find FT with respect of epsilon divided by the diameter. And recall that FT normally is a value something like 0.2 or something like that. The standard T's you got also right here. So depending on where do you got your data, for example, this goes very direct. You got, for example, where T's you got all these T values. You don't need to find the FT value. Or you can use these ones right here, but you will need to find the T FT values. Okay. Uh, pipe entrance, as I told you. They depend on the ratio of the how smooth is the entrance right here to the pipe. Uh, pipe exit, well, it's always one, as I told you before. In the last, where is it? This one right here, it's always alpha. Recall that alpha is always one. What else do we have? Low bulb, we have also, where is it? Okay. Right here, three times FT, so this means that it is very low friction. We got butterfly valve, sorry for the Spanish. We got for different diameters in the inlet to outlet, you got this one right here. So we normally use small diameters, we will use 45 FT probably. We got gate valves, finally, swing check valve, this is very common, check valves, to avoid return flow. Globe and angle valves, depending on 340FD or even 150, depending on what valve you're using, you will have your own. Check valve. And the final conclusion, guys, is that we have a lot of data. You just need to find out your valve. You preferably want to ask your supplier to tell you the K value. And if you don't know it, or you're modeling a process that you don't know the type of valve, well, you can use the ones I just presented you. And once you get the most appropriate one, you just need to calculate the density, very uh, the loss of friction very easily, which will be k value times the velocity to the square power divided by two. So let's do some exercises in the next video. This was a free preview. You want to get full access? Go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access, not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface, so for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections, if you're, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here, you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.